It is no secret that Rutgers University has had some well-publicized problems in recent years. It has now come up with a new problem-solving mechanism, a risk management program. Ted Brown has been put in charge of the program and named the chief ethics and compliance officer at Rutgers, and he joins us now. We welcome you to the program. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a rather wide portfolio you have here. It is. It's a big job, uh, but I have an awful lot of help. I have uh, my, my immediate staff. I have the support of the president, the board of governors, the top administrators at the university. And I'm also confident that we'll have the full support of the faculty, staff, and the students at, at Rutgers University. I've seen you quoted as saying that the goal is not to eliminate all risk. That's what right. do you mean by that? Well, not all risk is negative. Uh, and we don't want to eliminate all risk because to do so would cease all creative activity, all productivity. What we want to do is manage risk judiciously. And for instance, we do cutting edge research. At New Jersey Medical School, one of our physicians, uh, he's the head of the Department of Infectious, Infectious Disease, David Aland, has developed a new test for tuberculosis, which makes all other previous tests obsolete. In order to do that kind of research, you have to take risks. We won't have that kind of gain unless we are, are willing to embrace certain risk. At the same time, we want to avoid adverse risks. That's what ERM, Enterprise Risk Management, helps us to do. You have, uh, among other things, also taken on the uh, assessment of, of new hires and looking for potential conflicts of interest. Yes. And uh, of course, all this goes back to the most recent biggest problem that, that uh, Rutgers has had in terms of publicity, the basketball scandal, the Mike yes. Rice situation. Yes. Yeah, you're facing a lawsuit now, the university is by one former player, several other former players are also threatening action as well. What would your office have done to either mitigate, to limit, to avoid those kind of situations, had you been there before? Had we been here before, we look to get uh, a jump on things. We look to anticipate situations. We look to make some decisions as to what risks must we avoid, what, what mis risk must we prevent. But would you have the ability, because so much of what happened at Rutgers during this situation is supposedly tied up in, well, so-and-so told so-and-so, but they didn't tell Dr. Barchi. It didn't work That's its right. way up. Yes. In these situations now, are you there to say, not only can you come to us, but you must come to us? Well, we encourage you to come to us, and I have several hats at umd and J. I'm the chief compliance officer. We encourage you to come to us when there are problems, and this was a compliance concern. I'm the chief ethics officer. We encourage a climate of ethical behavior uh, at Rutgers. And what we, we do is to encourage uh, teams to get together and communicate. You talked about a lack of communication in that situation. What our enterprise risk management function will do will help us to anticipate and develop communication plans as long as response plans to communicate and manage these type and all types of risks. Do you have a situation now where the, the coach, regardless of what they're coaching, yeah. if they have a situation like this where they have a problem, they have to mm -hmm. come to you, or where the players, if they have a problem with the coach, would come to you? We encourage them to come to us, both in our role as chief compliance officer and we will develop local enterprise management committees at the local level in athletics and across the university uh, involving all campuses and all disciplines on the university will be visible and we'll let uh, players, students, faculty and staff know that they can come to us. Moreover, what we will do is we will actively seek out different risks that we can identify. You also have the, the task, I understand, of making sure that if my brothers and sisters in the media want some information from Rutgers, want access to Rutgers records, that you make sure that we can get our hands on it. That's right. As, as you know, the Open Public Records Act uh, encourages and requires transparency in, in government. Uh, part of my responsibility at Rutgers is to manage the Open Public Records Act response that we have to consult with and to advise our custodian of records. Will you be, uh, the, the, in the past Rutgers has taken some heat for not being particularly open about some of its records. Are things different now? Well, I'm new to Rutgers, as you know, and I'm not familiar with any uh, lack of transparency on the part of Rutgers. Uh, I can assure you that we will comply with the Open Public Records Act, and we will be active in making sure that we have full transparency at Rutgers University. Mr. Brown, good luck to you, sir. Have to leave it there. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.